What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today I just want to get into Link 5.0. They finally launched this and when I say finally I mean I think like several months ago and I'm just now making a video on it but I know that a lot of my audience either likes and or understands of Link's existence and they like to see me talk about it so I'm going to talk about it today. So I've been using Link for Chinese as you can see uh, I'm on an eight day streak, which I don't really care about streaks, but I'm gonna talk about that as well. But anyway, this is the new layout. As you can see the layout, I think the layout is very, very smooth, very, very nice. Um, everything, the way that it's set up, uh, which actually I'm gonna change this because you see books, looks like there's none, but that's just because I'm a beginner one or two. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna actually go ahead and just change that up to advance. So, cause I'm gonna go through and show you but anyway, this is Link. So you got lessons. You've got up here. You've got tutors that you can book for classes and stuff. I've never used those, but I know that they're they seem to be pretty big. Uh, forums, so you can talk about questions, resources, whatever's on the forums. I don't use Link forums that much either. Uh, I use it mainly for what it's for, which is Link, right? Um, Right here, you've got library. Uh, next to it, you've got playlists. Another great feature is that you have multiple playlists. Instead of just having one playlist where things get stored as you finish them, you can create your own playlists. Here's my mini stories playlist that I did one or two mini stories, and then I just I just started doing my own like my own kind of import stuff just because I thought it was either which is yo yo beginner Chinese, which you can see I've done a lot more. Another thing to note. If you'll see the times listened to right here is 6.4 instead of a round even number like they used to be on the old link. I'll get into that as well here in just a minute. But yeah, you you can now have partial listens, which is amazing because things track in real time. But I will get into that. Uh, here's the Yo-Yo Intermediate and you can add a new playlist. Uh, courses, I added this course because I um, added this eating out course just because... Um, one of the things that I'll be using Chinese for regularly here is eating at Chinese restaurants. And so I thought a course about dining, getting food makes sense to go through, which I've went through three lessons, not much. So, and not listen to much either because I've been doing my yo-yo Chinese, Chinese on the street videos that I've imported into Link. But anyway, they also have a vocabulary tab, which I never use. Uh, as you can see, I was watching videos about wrestling because the number one term here is AEW, which is hilarious, but, um, Anyway, uh, it's got the words that you've come across, uh, also words that you know here. So it's got uh, all kinds of stuff you can review it. Therefore, I mean, you can basically make Link an SRS system and train yourself on the words that you've come across, which you can also do during the lessons just like you could on Link, on the old Link. So uh, going straight across here, we're going to go to the tab up here, which is the street counter. Um, it doesn't go by links anymore, which is very refreshing. I never liked how in order to extend your streak, you had to introduce yourself to 13 new words a day. And if the thing is, not only did it have to be 13 new words, it had to be 13 words that you did not know. So let's say you got lucky or you're studying more comprehensible stuff and you came across, let's say 40 words that you didn't, that you would, yeah, that you had never seen before but let's say that you knew them, your streak doesn't continue because you knew the words. This system tracks things in real time. It gives you coins for reading. It gives you coins for listening and things like that. And so every page that you flip, coins are being added. Every second that you're listening, coins are added. Probably not every second, but you know, every couple of seconds, every five, six, 20, whatever the case may be, as you're listening, coins are acclimating and it's because it tracks everything in real time that's what i was mentioning earlier so for example you know reading harry potter in spanish like i was a while back well if i read three-fourths of the chapter one day and then the last fourth the next it would count everything on that day that i finished instead of the day before and the day so it's it's saying you know oh, you read nine thousand words today it's like well i didn't i actually read six thousand yesterday and three thousand today and then i also listened to 20 or yeah 20 minutes yesterday and 10 today but you're counting it all on the same day so i really love the things track in real time and i think that me explaining it 
it makes sense to me because I understand the system because since I've been using Link for a while. But I think once you get into it, you'll see what I'm saying. Like as you're reading through and as you're doing that, your counter is always going up, right? This number right here, 6215 is going up. So if I pop into a lesson here and I read, well, boom, one page, two page. Okay, cool, bam, reading it. And then I go back here. I, th I do think you have to refresh it, but I mean, boom, 62.29, my words went up. And it's, so that didn't have anything to do with me finishing a lesson. It had to do with, as the page turned, it was counting. Anyway, and of course over here, your languages, you can add whatever the case, you can see 3,500 Spanish words, almost 600 Norwegian, which I haven't done much recently. Japanese, kind of just where it's been for a while. Uh, you got your profile uh, off the screen to a little bit is an import tab, but also right here, the blue button, uh, right just above my head, just a little bit that says import. You can import a lesson. I'm not going to import a lesson today. I don't have anything prepared and anything that I am importing is paid content anyway. So, and I, again, yo-yo Chinese, I don't want to do that. I have the courses for myself, um, but I have them as private. And again, it's a paid course. So, all right. I'm going to move this to advanced too. That way more stuff populates. Cause you know, if I have it on, uh, if I have it on beginner, it's going to show less because it's not showing you advanced stuff. So for example, books, as you can see, it just makes it look like, uh, there's not a lot of stuff here. So we're just going to pop it up just so you can see all the stuff and, and things like that. So, uh, continue studying is at the very top. Makes sense. This is the stuff that you're looking over. So why would it not be at the top? You want to continue going over stuff uh, that you're looking at. So it makes sense. So continuing on is trending, which again, uh, trending makes a lot of sense. So we've got whatever some of the stuff is. This is a podcast about sports. Uh, somebody that knows that understands the importance of thumbnails, the little prince, uh, which is hilarious. This is advanced one because this is a book that I'm reading in Spanish currently, because it's like, Hey, if you're a beginner or you know, maybe upper beginner. It's a good book to read because it's easy, but I, I guess in Chinese it's different somehow. Uh, but anyway, something about Willy Wonka, I guess. Not really sure. But anyway, there's a ton of stuff here, and it kind of just... Ooh, Link Chinese Pod. I didn't even know this existed. The Link Chinese Podcast. All right, so tons and tons of stuff here. Phone number 40. So there's a bunch of those. All right. Next up is Mini Stories. Uh, as you can see, I've done Mini Story 1 mini story two and like the first page of mini story three I, i'm not against mini stories i don't i don't love them but i also have content that works better for me now sometimes i think the mini stories ramp up in difficulty way too quickly um and it's not because they're done poorly it's just because they're not really for beginner beginners yeah see this is for beginner two and some of the grammar that you run into it's just stuff that you might not know um as since i have finished beginner conversational chinese and i'm working my way through intermediate i'll probably start on these uh mini stories if i don't find other content to get into uh, because i do like just overall the way that it is i love that they're set up with a story from a first person perspective and then a story from someone telling the story's perspective. So it'll be like, oh, I wake up at this time. I do this, I do that. And then it'll be like, oh, he or she does this or he or she does the same, just talking about the same thing, just from a different perspective. And then of course it usually has like between seven and 10 questions at the end that are it's called looping questions. So it'll be like, Mike wakes up at six o'clock. Does Mike wake up at six o'clock? Yes, Mike wakes up at six o'clock. Mike drinks tea in the morning. Does Mike drink coffee in the morning? No, Mike drinks tea in the morning. Um, I personally like that stuff. The reason I'm not using mini stories is because it's written and I'm trying to learn more so conversational. And although I think it will translate and, and allow me to still speak, that's why I'm using the Chinese on the street, just the pure conversational courses from Yo-Yo Chinese and imported them into Link. That way I can read, practice my reading, but I can also practice listening. And it's just an easier way to keep track of um, but the, but the, there's, well, I think there's 60 of the 60 mini lessons, 60 mini lessons. So, uh, maybe at some point we'll get through that. So getting started, these are link courses. This is just a course. It's kind of funny. This is on here. Cause this is, uh, 
So if you get Link and you're trying to learn a language, odds are you don't know the language because you're trying to learn the language on Link. But yet, this is how to use Link in the language that you're learning. So I could learn how to use Link in Chinese, even though I don't know Chinese. So it's, it's kind of a weird concept, but it is there. Uh, books, just a bunch of different stuff. They actually, have, wow, they have a couple of new practical Chinese readers. That's interesting. I might check those out. I, I like, uh, I like that. Uh, anyway, looks like Steve's book is on here, and just some different things. I mean, you can go through. Um, okay, Chronicles of Narnia is on here in Chinese. That is really interesting. Little Red Book. They have a bunch of random stuff. And of course, all these have View All at the top, so there's more than just what I'm showing here. Guided courses. So yeah, greetings and goodbyes. Link getting started. Eating out. MIT learning Chinese. Who is she? Which is a story about, like, a, I think a girl's brother moves into a house and or a, an apartment, and a girl moves in with him or something, and it's this girl trying to find out who this other girl that's living with her brother is. It's a, it's a weird story, but it's there podcasts podcasts are always good i don't listen to much podcasts right now just because uh i don't know a whole lot of chinese uh yeah i can listen to it uh slow like slow chinese here but it's not something that i'm uh, i'm not worried about it right now I'm, I'm having fun learning and uh gonna keep doing that what's new so just new stuff that's introduced that's maybe just shown up on the links time feed or whatever with subtitles and whatnot news feed i don't pay much attention to uh i try to stay in tune with what's going on but uh the news is so depressing because it just reports everything negative i know steve is a huge news and political fan but not really my cup of tea but it's there for those who are netflix in chinese uh this rules because it shows uh, that you can watch so you click on it and it'll open the show in netflix and boom import the uh i've heard meteor garden rules import the lessons or import the subtitles and uh there you go um news again so more more news i guess business entertainment as you can see it just kind of goes on sports some stuff about some fighting, uh, technology, pronunciation, which is huge. Um, really, really cool because Chinese obviously has pronunciation, so it can be a little bit tough to get. Uh, this is, of course, I actually found earlier, so you click on it. And uh, this is a, if you're learning Chinese, this is beneficial. It's called Chinese Story, but they're, they speak in English, and then they say the same exact sentence in Chinese. So it's perfect. So I'm probably going to import one or two of those. Uh, I would like to eventually not hear the English parts, but I think that that's a really cool way to kind of get in tune just with what's going on and to work on your pronunciation as well for specific, I don't know, words and stuff. It's really, really cool. But anyways, tons of tons of YouTube videos. Um, actually, oh, pro, these are pronunciation. Yeah, Pronunci videos on pronunciation. There's a couple here. Um so yeah, just go through a couple of those. Some grammar guides. Uh, here we go. HSK, yeah, HSK grammar, verb. What is this? Ver, object, verb, object. So there's tons of stuff that you can look at there if, if you need to do that. Stuff on health, science, culture. As you can see, it kind of just goes on forever. So you can find anything and everything down to self-help. And uh, any and everything that you could possibly want to see. And that is Link 5.0. Um, there's not much else to say. If you want to look at how the lessons work, I can jump into it. Uh, of course, you've got here, you've got your title up here. Down here, you've got sentence view. So you can go through um, each individual line of this. Boom. So you can go through there. Of course, you can also, the big thing that you can do here that you couldn't do in the old link is if you click the settings up here, you can edit the sentence. So if something's not spaced properly or something, you can change it, which I'm not going to change this, but you can go in and change that or the translation, click done. Uh, the translation on this doesn't normally look this bad. The reason it looks bad here is because I did the translations 
and what I'm, I did, I didn't do the translations literally. What I mean is I imported the translations from Yo-Yo Chinese and the way that they have it set up is Hanzu, Pinyin, and then the English. Um, and so I have it set up that way uh, just because it's what I enjoy. I'm not overly concerned about the subtitles looking pretty. I know that uh, Nikai uh, Nikai means what kind of car do you drive? So not overly concerned about it. Um, but that is Link 5.0 in a nutshell. If you want to see more, let me know. I think that covers everything. Um, I really, really like it. I think that there's a lot of room for being able to like, it, it feels like more free to customize uh, what you like and things like that. Um, the As far as editing sentences, uh, it, I don't know if there's a setting or not. I've never really messed with it because I've never imported anything and made it public. But some of the stuff you can edit, I just don't recommend. Uh, and then some of the stuff you can't. Like the mini stories, you can't edit the sentences. So if there's something wrong, you can probably just get in touch with somebody uh, or and, and at least pitch the idea that it's wrong. Um, but also some of the courses that are imported, you can fully edit the sentences. So... Um, I, w I think that I would like for them to not have that feature on there just because I think people could mess with your courses. I think overall people wouldn't because it's a language learning community. Nobody's trying to sabotage anybody, but I don't know. Just, just an idea. But uh, you can mess with stuff. Just be careful. That's all I'm saying. If you're, if you're, if you're changing anything, make 100% make sure what you're changing is what it's supposed to be. So outside of that... I'm going to leave this video here. It's a long video. Um, let me know if you have any questions down below. I will try to answer that. I will make another video in the future, uh, probably not too long from now, where I'm actually using it. I just wanted to talk about it today, show you the new stuff, give you the ins and outs of it, show you some of the new features, and um, and carry on. But I will make a video using it soon so you get a more in-depth feel of how the program works. So that is going to be all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your questions down below, and I will see you all in the next video.